Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're live on Twitch playing some Naya mid-range. So a very similar list to this is what spurred the inspiration. It went to uh, the top 12 uh, SEG. Uh, so this was from um, April 7th SEG Classic. Uh, James Brink uh, played it to a top 12 finish. Made a couple variations to the deck. I liked having the reoccur. Of, uh, threat of rekindling Phoenix in the main, but really you're just getting a lot of efficient uh, gold cards and just aggro cards. You have your Growth Chamber Guardians as card advantage, Crawl Harpooners as uh, pseudo removal, Thorn Lieutenant as uh, difficult to deal with threat that at least leaves a body behind, some Lightning Strikes as removal, uh, our three drop. We got some hasty threats in both Gruel Spellbreaker and Tajik. Uh, Knight of Autumn is a good catch-all card that's pretty useful in a lot of different situations. And then we have the package of like Rhythm of the Wild, which works well with Carl Harpooner. Uh, some Collisions, Colossus to deal with Flyers or just Pump for damage. Some Integrity as a Pump and uh, Reach if need be. And then we have a combination of Shalai, Phoenix, and Trustandy at our top end. So it's a nice mix of threats. Um, mana base is pretty standard. In the sideboard, uh, I'm keeping the one Remorseful Cleric. He was playing two. I think this is just for like the Saltai matchup or to uh, catch maybe like a Nexus while it's going through its loop. Um, playing some Cinder Vines. I like playing four of these, some Unbreakable Formation uh, against like the Esper matchup. Legion War Boss is a good just kind of threat that keeps bringing bodies around without you having to overcommit. Uh, deafening Clarion uh, against more of the aggro based decks and it also works interesting with uh, Tajik where it won't deal damage to our creatures and then uh, a couple of Vivians just if we need to go into a more grindy matchup uh, we can play that out. Um, so we're going to take it for a spin. I'm at Platinum I believe. Platinum tier 4. We've dropped a bit. We were playing a couple brews. But we'll run it out here. See how it goes. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, all my replays on Twitch will be on YouTube afterwards at MTG underscore Joe. Um, if, you are, if you haven't done so already, subscribing on YouTube is a free and easy way to show your support. Um, also consider following on Twitch. Okay, so not a bad hand. We'll probably keep this. We have all our colors and we can start bringing out hasty threats. Knight of Autumn could catch us up in terms of life if it's an aggro deck. I'll probably lead off on the temple here. I like the curve of Spellbreaker. Okay, so this could be the Thief deck. It could be a couple things. Nexus. Okay, so it looks like Thief. Actually, having Trust Stanny in the main board in our matchup is actually really good for us. Let's give it haste. Um, so we can take back whatever they steal from us. And us having a second Trust Stanny is also very good. Next turn, we'll drop Phoenix. See what they go with here. Okay, so the Entrancing Melody. Um, here, I actually like just doing a setup turn. This will make sure that we get Trustani down and our threats are uncounterable, and then we can just start hasting things in. Okay, so they have the Vivian, so that play worked out a lot worse for us. Feel the wrath of Scala. So really just want to hit a land here, if possible, to drop Trostani. They'll attack in for four, most likely. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. It's fine. We got our stuff back. And now we can uh, threaten the Vivian. So out of the sideboard, we need to be aware of like the Biogenicus. Also might be worthwhile on the sideboard. We don't have Lava Coils in our deck, which is probably wrong. 
We don't have a clean answer for our opponent's Rekindling Phoenix. Okay, so here... So we're not going to attack with Tristani because uh, they can adapt with the Druid and kill it. Here we'll just play out the Phoenix. If we draw another land, we can double spell. Okay, so they had the Frilled Mystic up. It's fine, we got Vivian off the board. If they have a Krasis, we'll hold this in hand for that. One creature in our graveyard right now. Okay, so they adapt. No one knows the wilds like I do. So want to try to dodge a crisis here, ideally. So land is good for us there. Growth chamber is actually really good. Come on. So they can choose to block and save their Vivian, but it involves them trading off two creatures. I'm fine with this. <laughs> you have to do better than that. So here I'm just gonna do this now. This is a good sink for mana. And then with Trustani, them being five fives is pretty solid. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Okay, so opponents only getting lands off Vivian is good for us. Okay, an opponent concedes. So pretty good showing. Having mainboard Trustani definitely trumps this deck. Um, so in this matchup, probably want those in here. The war boss. They're going to cut their mind control effects. Do we want the Clarions versus Ooze? Clarions actually deal pretty nice with some of the, the random stuff in the deck. Let's get rid of the Integrities. Uh, probably get rid of Knight of Autumn. It's not really what I want to be doing on that slot. They don't really have that many great enchantments. Uh, so Tristani is really good. Shalai protects. Probably just drop down a rhythm. Because they'll have Vivian main. They might bring in the Brontodons actually. So we might want to cut them all together. Yeah, let's... We'll keep the integrities in if we need the reach. Because you figure we're between mass manipulation. They have about six to seven mind control effects, so they'll probably drop those, bring in biogenic ooze, and bring in uh, remorseful cleric. Or, um, what's its name? Uh, we need to hit a land. Tristani's good to keep. They're not going to beat us quick in this game. We're on the draw. Getting an early war boss down will be good. So we hit our lands. Still want to see if we like the lightning strikes more or go with... Okay, so they're on mono druids. Clarion would be amazing right now if we draw it. Okay, so we have the Spellbreaker. Uh, I'd rather get down the War Boss, I think. Because we can attack with this Integrity it. And 
and then pump through even if they adapt. Or even just uh, Colossus. So we have a couple options there. Okay, so the entrancing melodies, just pretty rough there. So here, I missed the land drop, which is awkward. I think we just play defense right now. I don't want to kill my war boss because we can get it back with our Trustani. Since they kept in some of the mind control effects for the next game, if we lose this one, we'll probably bring back the rhythms. If they have like another entrancing melody here, it'll be pretty bad. So we'll just attack like a uh, block like this. Okay, so with the rootbound Craig. So we're just going to pass the turn here. They're going to go to adapt and then we'll kill whatever they try to adapt. Which is the one? Okay, so we got the right one. The interface there was really odd. So we did this because it's the most efficient use of our mana. Holding up two mana is easier in the longer game. Having double trust Annie here is also good. And they likely have a counter up. So we'll see how they... Okay, so they adapt here. Lock like this. Okay, so it's likely s sinister sabotage, but I think we still play into it. Essence scatter. Okay, so we brought in creature counters, which is interesting. Yeah, so I think we do want the rhythms in this matchup. They can adapt here. Weird way they're tapping the mana. They could have another entrancing melody. Okay, that's fine. Let balance comes. Cause here we can steal back our creature and then attack into Vivian. So I'm not going to attack because we want our war boss back. It'll give us more value, especially going wide with Tristani now. The wilds are my shield. Opponent not seeing a crisis in either game so far has been good for us. The growth spiral. Fine. Okay, so here we're going to use Colossus.
Yeah, between Lightning Strike and Colossus. We can play around with how we do these blocks. Okay, so they're gonna block there. Block there. See if they throw the goblin in front of anything. So they could have a counter spell as the last card in hand. Awesome, they don't. Just and like I'm just going to finish off the druid here. Perfect. So it takes him off six mana. Just end the turn. This is what we'll use for a crisis. Taking down Thief. Pretty solid showing of the deck so far, actually. 2-0 in that match, which is uh, a nice way to kind of take it down. We'll run it back for one more. Feels like you're getting a lot of versatile creatures in this deck, so... We'll play first for sure. Uh, we need green mana. Do we keep this? Ah, we try it out. Alright, so let's see if opponent's actually on is it. Okay, so we got one more turn to draw a green source. Opponent might be on Phoenix. Uh, green source there would have been good. See if they're on Grixis or is it? Okay, so this looks like dragons. I fight with a dragon's rage. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lightning strike this. Okay, it's a little awkward this game. Nickel Bolas here would be pretty bad. Actually, I haven't played this deck in some time. Okay, so they have the Bolas. Okay. They're too far ahead in that one. Uh, so in this matchup, Vivian's at a premium. Uh, War boss, maybe. Crawl Harpooner will be good. So the integrities aren't that good. Clarion's not that good. Formation might be. Like Knight's not gonna do much. Well, it could blow up the artifacts. Just run it like this, maybe. Maybe run it like that. Let's try this out. In retrospect, when we conceded there, we probably should have done so on the discard trigger. Okay, much better hand here. So it's more likely we need double green than double white. So we'll lead on stomping ground. This is a really nice curve. Thorn Lieutenant into Spellbreaker into Shalai. So unfortunately we have to shock ourselves so much.
So probably have to be aware of Niv, Demanding Dragon, and Nico Bolas. So Growth Chamber is also pretty sweet. Um, so we'll just attack in. I want to make it a 4 power. That way it can trade if needed with uh, Nicol Bolas. And if they have a, an answer, they need to do it on our turn. Also, them being off black mana. Okay, so here... Here this is interesting. Do we go rhythm and then just haste out stuff? I think we do that anyways, because it doesn't really change the clock. Because even if we play out like a Phoenix or Shalai, we can't attack with it this turn anyways. That's fine. This is my Phoenix. Take four. So we present lethal next turn. Uh, actually, we're one short of lethal. Okay, so they have the Niv. Uh, so here, let's just play out Shalai, put a counter on it, no attacks. So Niv's hard to beat. We're probably just going to have to start throwing like Growth Chamber Guardians at our opponent. Probably use a setup turn with Rhythm. Just discard that. Okay, so it's not the worst. We're just going to have to go and probably... So if we do that, we hit him for 4 damage. So we guarantee 4. But they have to trade their Nicol Bolas. Which is probably okay. Uh, let's give it haste. Actually, let's do that, because we can adapt it. So we'll see how they block here. Okay. So they're gonna kill that, but we have... So unless they bring out another body, we can haste in both of these. Scargan's tough to deal with. Ooh, that's aggressive by the opponent. Okay, so here... Just give it haste. I think we got this unless they have a removal spell. Yeah, they got a little too aggressive there. Oh, they had the removal. So we're dead now. Yep. Opponent does that and pings. Okay, so we won one, lost one. Try one more out. Almost stole that one. The first game was a little rough. Probably just play more collision instead of the other one. I think that's where we go. Uh, 
let's try this. So, like to draw a green source. Might have been a greedy keep again. Opponent might be on Esper. So interesting with the treasure map in this build. This one may be playing Karns. They keep it on top. So this lets us drop Tajik. The backup Tajik. Oh, this might be the uh, Karn and Tez Super Friends build. This is a very awkward hand. So Knight of Autumn's probably a premium here. They're gonna flip. So if they play a Karn here. Green source. Ayy. Here I just want to start trying to maximize damage. Okay, so they have Raska's Contempt, that's fine because we have the other Tajik. So, Tezzeret here. And the cast down. A land would have been good there because we could have Tajiked. And lightning striked. A lucky shot. Knight of Autumn, if they make. Step behind. So worst case next turn. Okay, they'll probably take the lightning strike is my guess. If they have removal. Tristani also could be a take here. Opponent's thinking about it. Growth Chamber Guardian. See what else they have. They sack a, ma a treasure. They mortify here. So we're gonna lightning strike it. Ideally draw land. Okay, so that gets rid of that. They might have like tokens, but I just wanna keep pressure up. We're 23 lions in this deck, which is just a little odd that we keep missing and having some mana screw issues. Okay, so they play Karn here. Evil must not be tolerated. Are you certain of your decision? So we'll give them a land.
So here, let's just put a Shalai. They can fly over the token if they make it. They can down tick and get a backup Karn. Uh, you can take the Karn. I think we're just in a, a whole lot of hurt regardless. Missing on lands for so many turns has been really awkward. They sack the last treasure. That does make the Tez a little worse. Okay, so here... They have a counter spell, we'll probably concede this game. Okay, so then we'll attack into Karn. Alright, they got this one. We're too far behind. They get back Tez, start making tokens. Alright, so in this matchup, Vivian's good. They have Cryocarnarium, so Unbreakable Formations. Integrity's bad. Don't want those. One more cut. These are good. Rhythm can do with the haste stuff. Probably just cut down one Tajik. Probably go down the Thorn Lieutenants for these. Both leave a body behind. Actually, no. This is more relevant against Cryo. Oops. Against Cryo Carnarium. Like, that might be decent because they're going to bring in all non creatures, like in the main board, but they might have Lyra or like Thief of Sanity or something like that. This is just to deal direct damage to Planeswalkers. Let's run it back like this. Vivian can deal with the Flyers. Collision Colossus just kind of opens us up for two for ones. Play first. Keep. All our colors, Thorn Lieutenant. Oh, perfect. So Knight of Autumn could ca hopefully catch like a uh, treasure map. Perfect. This game's already going much better. Hit the opponent for two. So they'll probably take the unbreakable. Okay, they take Shalai. Interesting. So I'll just pass the turn here, hold this up if they have Kaya's Wrath. I don't want to overextend all their creatures into a board wipe. Second Thorn Lieutenant's not bad. Then we can still hold up Unbreakable Formation. And if we draw land, we could thread in lethal. If not, we can cast Unbreakable Formation and try to get him that way. Actually, we're a short one that way. That's only nine. So I think we can out-aggro them this game. 
They keep it on top, so it could be a cry. Could be like a mortify. Or Vraska's Contempt. Here we'll attack with everything. So we need to decide here. We either shut them off from flipping this, or we open us ourselves up to a board wipe. I think we just end the turn here. We present lethal with an unbreakable formation turn. This is worse against a Cryocarnarium, but even playing this out still gets us swept by Cryocarnarium. Karn is fine. I fight with honor. Some solutions must be built. So we want to land here so we can play both. Okay, so... We can do this. We hit them to three. Yeah, it's probably the play. We're in trouble with a board wipe. I'm gonna take Karn off the table because it gives him another blocker or at least a shot at drawing something. If they want to kill it, they have to sack some number of treasures. So, opponent's thinking they have something in hand. Okay, so we're going to hold off on these, like I said. We're still again presenting lethal with an unbreakable formation. A choice. You can have a land. Okay, so they had the Kai's Wrath. Rhythm of the Wild also presents lethal here. Doesn't really help. So, not the best, but if they don't have a sweeper, we're okay. Let's see what Karn does here. Have another Karn. Tezzera can make tokens, so they had the cry as well. Formation wouldn't have helped, and they have Dovin. Yeah. Falling behind here. Yeah, they got Tezzera. Give it one more draw. Tajik might be able to help. I think we. You were foolish to come. I benefit from another success. Let's probably draw them cards. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. This is kind of the shell I want to build for the new set. Yeah, now we're trying all our lands. That one was tough. Probably could have had 
if we just drew another land to hold up formation, but they drew out of it, and that's usually what control will be able to do. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy, and if you haven't done so on YouTube and Twitch, make sure to subscribe and follow. Thanks.